stalling and, you know, kind of teaching the new guys the ropes for a while. So it was good to get out there and, you know, compete against each other a little bit and have some fun. Summer workouts, I mean, there really is no downtime for basketball. You have a lot of opportunities to work with the new guys. Mm -hmm. but what's different now from the summer to the uh, starting practice? I would say this summer now the guys are newer but you know they're willing to learn you know a lot of the a lot of the dudes that we have now are sponges and they're all they're all like-minded you know like wanting to come in and work they want to come in they want to know what to do so i mean that's pretty much the difference you know just with the new guys really coming in and wanting to work yeah talking about working i mean the summer a lot of fun a lot of smiles a lot of laughs out there <laughs> Didn't really see as many today. It seemed like they were a little more yeah. focused um, and really putting in the work. As far as right. uh, how has the intensity shifted now that these practices are gearing you towards that first game? Well, we have a lot of older guys, veteran guys, so we know like once, you know, end of September, I mean, really from the start, but once end of September, early October, you know, it's go time. So it's time to really, you know, keep stacking the days like we've been doing and, you know, keep competing. Last year, great end to the year, made it to the postseason for the first time since 2014. There's a target, there's a spotlight on you guys this year. Uh, how has that affected kind of the chemistry of the team or the mindset of the team? Uh, I wouldn't say that has affected us. I mean, we've all had a hunger coming back because we know last year, you know, coach will tell you just as well as anybody else, we left a lot on the table. So, you know, just with the guys that's coming back from this year, not wanting to leave all that on the table, wanting to fulfill everything that this team could fulfill. So we came in and set that tone for the new guys, and then the new guys just been following up right behind it. First practice is done. It's out, over, it's out of the way. Now you've got however many now until first game of the season. Of course. What does the team need to continue to do to get ready for that November 6th tip-off? Continue to build, continue to learn, you know, just continue to learn each other because, you know, that's pretty much what the offense and defense is, just connectivity all together. So just keep being connected.